Hi Fraggle friends, today I'll be sharing with you 17 tips for camping in Qatar and I brought some special friends along, the world and us. Hey everyone, my name is Elisa. And I'm David and we're sharing our family's travel adventures in Qatar. Come join us. Let's get started. So whenever you do go on a camping trip in the uh, inland sea or the desert, of course there's loads of things that you can take, but some of the essentials that we think you should really be bringing along are these uh, items here. So we have here a tow rope, that speaks for itself. Then we have a bottle of vinegar, so if you have any stings from jellyfish, that'll be really nice to have, it softens the pain a lot. Of course a first aid kit with all sorts of different things in there, which I can show you as well. Uh, then we have a shovel. To, uh, I don't know, to play with or to dig out the car if you do really get stuck. And then we have the uh, booster cable to jumpstart the car as well. And of course we recommend to leave with a full tank of gas as well, that'd be really handy. And next tip is to make sure that you are traveling with a group. If you do get stuck in the desert somewhere, you're gonna want to get some help. If you don't travel with someone, make sure you tell someone where you're going. Also, if you do get stuck, there's quite a lot of people out here anyway who will be able to help you out. So if you don't come with someone, you probably will have someone who'll be able to help you because so many people come out here. But yeah, it's, it's really best to come with the group. We've got Rainy with us obviously, so we've got him to help us if we get stuck somewhere. All right, next tip. As for our next tip, make sure that you bring lots and lots of water. You need at least six liters of water per person per day. Also, don't forget to bring a pump. Uh, you can get them automatic like this one, they're rechargeable, or you can get a manual one and they come as for as cheap as $10 from Carrefour. One of the things that you might wonder uh, coming into the desert and maybe towards the inland sea here in the south of Qatar as well is uh, how you're going to find your way around into the desert. How do you know if you're heading the right way? So there's actually a lot of tracks in the sand that you are able to follow. Uh, so it's probably not as difficult as you might think. And one other thing that you can do as well, which I actually prepared for you, is download my GPS track of today's trip that we did down here. And you can just open that in one of the GPS tracker apps and then it can transpose your current position on there as well. So you can follow along this uh, correct track and find the same place and enjoy your day out here. Of course, you don't have to come here. You can go to one of the nearby dunes as well. But if you follow this track, you know you're gonna make it for sure. Okay, guys, next tip is that you wanna make sure you deflate your tires if you are camping in the desert. Uh, we're heading to the inland sea today, so there's a nice spot next to the Sea Lion Beach Resort just here. These guys will deflate your tyres for just five reals. You can do it yourself if you want to get your own deflator. Uh, you want to deflate your tyres to about 15 psi, and uh, when you inflate them again, you want to put them to 35 psi. Just to explain why you do it, when your tyres are pumped up, um, basically the tyres will just keep sinking uh, because they can't climb the berm of sand that it creates. Uh, when you deflate the tyres, Basically the tyres have more surface area and then you, it'll keep climbing up that sand. Okay, hope that helps. Next tip. As for our next tip, make sure that you meal plan ahead of time. That way you know exactly what to bring and when you get to your camping spot you don't realise that you've actually missed in your main ingredients. Uh, last night we had hot dogs, uh, so we brought some bread and sausages. Uh, and this morning we're having some scrambled eggs with tomato. Um, so we knew exactly what we needed for this morning. And on top of this, I think it's a really good idea that you pack some non-perishables, things like baked beans and noodles. Uh, and that's only basically just in case so that if you do happen to get stuck in the desert or if you do decide to extend your stay, then you actually have extra food to go. Of course, don't forget my giveaway, right? 50 Qatari wheels or 10 US dollars if you comment down the video with a new chance every month to win. I'll just randomly choose one from the comments below the videos in that month. So I'd like to hear from you. Just say hi, tell me what you think, next video ideas, anything like that. Another thing that I really recommend checking before you come out into the desert in the south of Qatar and towards the inland sea over here is uh, the tide tables for the actual day that you're going. For example, this spot, actually when it's really high tide in the middle of summer, it's not even possible to reach it because you will be surrounded with water on all sides. But because the tide is a little bit lower today and the high tide doesn't even come that high, we actually knew that we could come here and put the tents and the cars up safely and not worry about the water coming too high. So you can check the tides on uh, many different websites. My personal favorite is Easy Tide, and uh, I'll put a link down below in the video description as well, of course, if you want to check that. So our next tip is to make sure you've got plenty of shade. 
Uh, it does get super hot here, and if you're gonna spend the whole day at your campsite, you're gonna wanna have a nice shady place to go to. Uh, Rainy has got his setup there behind me, and we've got this one here. And it's quite easy just to move them around if you wanna move them to different spots around your campsite. You've probably been keeping count and that is only eight tips. To see the rest of the tips, you need to head over to our channel, The World and Us. So thanks for watching. Please make sure you subscribe to The World and Us and The Ultimate Fraggle. We'll see you next time.